What is up everyone? This is Sorkin090 and this is going to be Operation Bedrock episode 233, the 233rd episode of the Operation Bedrock series. A series where our friends and I were going to be mining the entire world and there's nothing but bedrock left except for the floor of course because we need something flat to walk on. So, what is new, what is new, what is new is that I've done a live stream after three weeks and I gotta say that the turnout was fantastic. A lot of people showed up and I'm very, very happy to know that even on a school day or depending on the time zone for a lot of people, that people will show up for the live streams and I just cannot wait for the summer to arrive. I really, really can't because then when I would do my new live streams from there on forth or my next live streams or multiple live streams during that day, then chances are that a lot of people will show up and I'll still be able to entertain a lot of people, probably get new subscribers, people coming on by just to see the live stream and then move on from here. And hopefully that when things become more and more, well, just successful in terms of people showing up for the live streams, then who knows where we could go from there. I just want to be able to do a lot more Let's Plays. I want to be able to do a lot more work in Operation Better and Operation Blackout and just keep on going. And hopefully that things will just go out smoothly. And one of the things I'm waiting for from the network is to allow the partners from the network to actually use Super Chat, which is essentially just another donation platform while live streaming. It's just like Twitch when you're able to put in bits. You could just put in bits, you pay for the bits, and you give the bits to the live streamer, and the live streamer gets money from those bits. So Super Chat is kind of the same thing, but mainly it's that your message would be on the actual chat little chat log right there and depending on how much you donate that's just determines how long the message is going to be there so essentially you're giving yourself a shout out using that little box right there but in any case is that if that activates for my live stream as well as for everybody else's live stream then they have no reason to go to twitch because that you could just go on platforms like youtube and just do that and interact with the viewers from there and i really love interacting with the viewers i love talking to the viewers and answering questions and things like that and yes, I do get a lot of the same questions, but at the same time, I still answer it regardless. So we'll move on from here. Just hoping that the network actually allows me to have super chat. And then from there, I have no reason to go on Twitch. Only unless that if I'm going to live stream with my friends, we could go on Twitch so that they could start being the more of themselves and not having to be more family friendly on Twitch. Whereas on YouTube, I want to keep that more family friendly. Who knows, maybe we'll actually make a little bit of a transition, but in any case, we'll just have to see how well that, that, that goes for the future. Just mainly, the way I see it is that I keep my commentary family friendly, although there are games that I do play which is not family friendly in that sense, but they will do the swearing. Like, the video game does the swearing, I won't do the swearing, and we'll move up from there. It's just how it goes for some of the Let's Plays, like the Call of Duty Let's Play, for instance, or even the Battlefield Let's Play for that instance as well. And for our current project is that we are getting rid of a lot of the layers right here. As you can see right there, we still got at least another 43 layers to go of mining all the blocks down to bedrock. And then from there, that we will work on this other ocean, the other side of the ocean. Pretty much use the frost walker to get rid of a lot of the ocean water. Take it up with the soak touch and then from there mine all the way back down to bedrock. And do the same thing for the other sides. Is that what we wanted to do or at least what I wanted to do is that I wanted to get rid of the hardest part. Because all of, the, all of this pretty much used to be ocean. Just a lot, a lot of water. And then it gets a little bit easier and easier. And then I believe that the south side would be the easiest because it has less water in comparison to with the east side. So the east side had a lot of water, it had the majority of the ocean, as you can see there on the map. And then from the north, it's still a lot of water, but less water than the east side, than the west side. Less water, and then the south side, majority of it, well, I guess 50% of that is mostly land anyways. But regardless, that is how we're going to do it, and that's how I'm going to do it, and I don't know what we're going to do from there. I did think that I did say that we were going to get rid of the trees afterwards. From there, we could at least get a lot of the saplings, a lot of the birch wood, oak wood, and some apples. And then we'll have a lot of supplies from there. Maybe we'll just get rid of the tree dome for last because that tree dome has been there pretty much since the beginning of Operation Bedrock that we made a tree dome. And I love that tree dome. I really, really do. And so much memories with that. So many things we have built and so many things that have been done. I can't even believe, like, I can remember even making the treasure room back then. That took hours upon hours because we didn't have that many tools and we didn't have that many things to do. So, 
In any case, there is a little bit of a zombie spawner here, and I've actually taken the liberty to write down the coordinates of every zombie spawner because in Operation Dome, which is an exact copy of Operation Bedrock, we could go all, uh, we could just go hunt down a lot of the spawners. Just keep going to all the spawners, and maybe we'll find a golden apple because if I'm not mistaken, that at least one dungeon has a golden apple, and. I believe we've actually found it in Operation Bedrock, but I don't remember exactly which one it was. So we can go back to Operation Dome and look for the exact same dungeon. And then hopefully we'll find the golden apple from there. From the last live stream that I went to work on getting rid of a lot of the dirt and a lot of the gravel so that all we have to do is just dig up or not dig up. Well, kind of wrong terminology here. Just mine up the stone from here. And hopefully I'll be able to find the other dungeon that we found during the live stream. It was very, very cool. Is that it's also in part of the actual skylight, well not skylight, the side that we've been mining. So if we find a third one, that'd be great as well. So far we've only found one in a direct path, but I don't remember exactly where is the other one. Just mainly once we dig all the way down to bedrock, then that would be a thing. Just if we Oh, that was a bat. That little the bat. I just heard the chirps. I heard the chirps of the bats, so I love the bats here. I love them so much. They're so adorable. Real ones, they're adorable too, but just as long as they don't bite you. As far as I know, that some of them do bite. Although we do have fruit bats, and they are massive, so that's another thing. But in any case, that we worked on getting rid of a lot of the dirt and the gravel so there's not going to be that much here especially when i'm just going to leave that wall in perfection just mainly all we got to do is just use our pickaxes and maybe just maybe we'll find more of the spots here later on but i just want to go exploring i really don't want to go mining because i just want to show you guys a lot of the resources that are here so far and hopefully I'll find the right one, the right little spot that is actually connected to a lot of caves. And a lot of them, oh wait a second, I know how to go about that. Alright, let's go back over there because it's actually connected to the original Three Torch Path. And this was a long time ago, years upon years ago. Just mainly about good four years ago. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is, is that we would actually take the time to dig around the entire edge of the world before they actually, I don't know, I, I would say moved the actual edge of the world one block closer. So there's a reason why there's a lot of torches on the wall of where we cannot mine. Also, the resources that are on the wall that we couldn't mine either, especially the redstone, because back then, redstone was harder to mine than diamonds. And then they patched it up so that you could actually mine it with the iron pickaxe. But back then, we just left it alone. And gratefully, we did so because when we came back for them, when we were able to get XP, we got a ton of XP for them. And we were grateful that we just left them behind. But yes, there's that one dungeon. I have no idea where the other dungeon is at. I really don't. I believe I actually did write it down, which I got to look for my notebook. And I fell because I was looking for the notebook. Oh, uh, yeah, I did write it down. All right, I think it was the spider spawner. It was 374 and then 24 and 150. Whew, I'm actually far away. Yeah, it's all the way over there. If we get to it, we get to it. I just got to remember the 150 because it's just 374 and 150. Then I'll be able to figure that out sometime soon. So yeah, well, well, this is the way to go, I guess. Because there's a lot and a lot of caverns, there's a lot of different spots. We got rid of a lot of things right here. And also we got rid of a lot of lava along the way as well. So there's some spots that we've actually not found. But here, lots and lots of resources, lots and lots of caves. And I'm still within the walls of the actual, well, the, the whole the entire thing. And there's another zombie spawner right there. I remember this one. This was pretty much surrounded by a lot of lava. This is why you see so many torches and so many other spots that are just open. Just completely, utterly open because there's just a lot of lava around the area. But here's another zombie spawner that we're going to leave alone. And especially if I'm not mistaken, oh wait, yep, it's already past the wall. But I'm still going to leave an open cavern so that anyone could actually get into this and one thing that we still got to do is that we still got to make maps along the way of 
a lot of the progress. Once this actual map is complete, or I'm saying that this wall is completely mined down to bedrock, then we'll make a copy of that map, put it on the actual wall, and then it'll be like, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like now. Just keep on going. Just, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put the map wall, but it's just going to showcase a lot of the actual like progression of us mining the entire world little by little by little and probably even put a little bit of a date map on there saying that it was complete on this day this day this day just keep track of everything and if only we have done that in the beginning of the entire series but yeah you never know it's that you just think about things as you go along and it just happens and here is one of the little crafting tables and as well as this is the original three torch path Oh, uh, this is going to be so much fun. Honestly, is that we've done a lot of mining. We have done a lot of digging. And a lot of the lava that used to be here are already gone. And you can see that this is lava at the edge of the world. But here's the thing. Just as long as there's no pockets underneath, if I could do this right. So let's go ahead and do this carefully. Carefully. Okay. Carefully. Aha. Uh, this one's actually deeper. One more. Okay, look at that. Look at that. It's at the edge. You can already see it right there. You can see that there's a lot more lava underneath here. But you gotta dig it like one block at a time. If you were to do two blocks, then that little air pocket would just cause the lava to go into the actual area. So yeah, lava can still flow, but just as long as we just do it one block at a time, you should be good. And this could actually be a spot where we're just gonna leave the lava permanently there because it looks absolutely awesome. And I did mention earlier about the redstone that can now be mined. So this is actually the edge of the world. Well, yeah, this is the edge of the world. But back then, this used to be the edge of the world. So that's why you see another spot there. But they moved the block closer to us. So now that this would be the edge of the world. Because there were so many crashes that would occur because of the edge of the world behind there. Especially with the sticky piston. So now they actually put it that this would be the edge of the world. You could use your sticky piston here, if I'm not mistaken. Grab some of the blocks out, but this would be the permanent edge of the world. Hence, that's where the lava spot is at. And since now this is the edge of the world, that's where it's gonna stop right there. So it gets a little bit confusing to try and explain it. Maybe I could actually get IBX Toy Cat to explain this to all of us. Wouldn't that be great? I could show him this part. I could just show him here and then probably he'll make a video about this. Uh, that would be great. That would be kind of cool though. Wouldn't that be? Yeah, that would be cool because not many other worlds that are as old as this actually have this type of deal. Especially like water right here. Let me see if I can actually do this. Oh, another tunnel. <laughs> Lovely. Oh yeah, I did work around here too. So yeah, I've just been, this is going to be the wall where we're going to be able to place torches around here. So that's why that looks like that. Okay, so many memories, so many things. Okay, got to patch that up real quick. Sorry that I'm not mining, but hey, this is actually interesting to look at, right? It's just a part of history. <laughs> Again, I should get Ibex Toy Cat to explain a lot of these things. Because he talks better than I can, then that's for sure. But yeah, we cannot mine this area right here. Cannot mine it whatsoever. We could use TNT and possibly a sticky piston, but cannot mine it. That's the deal. And the same thing with the torches. We could actually break the torches, but who would want to? You could mine that, but you could, like, you can't mine this, but you could mine that. I would not want to break this. I really wouldn't. Okay, let's see if we can do this right. Oh, okay, that's fine. Look at that. Water is not going to go anywhere. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, lots of lava, lots of places we got real lava. And oh, look at that, more dirt. Hooray. We need to get some more dirt around here so that we don't have to worry about this, especially when we're just going to be using pickaxes. And since I cannot mine this, we're going to actually have to cover this up. That's the sad part of it all because this is going to be the wall right here where we're going to place the torches. So, yeah, that's going to be a deal. A lot of this will be well, gone or that I could actually leave a lot of windows open for a lot of these spots. Maybe I'll just write down the coordinates and then just show you guys for every other video or live stream that I do. But in any case, this is what it is. This is how it used to be. And now a lot of this has changed. But so much and so many memories have been made around here. But I love this right here. That would be a perfect thumbnail if I could actually mine this area right real quick. All right. <laughs> that would be a little bit scary, honestly. 
a little bit scary. Just to get too close to it. You could actually burn up like that, so that's a thing. Look at that. Look at that. Just a little phasing through right there. Ah, uh, so much lava though. Look at all that lava. It's gonna be a shame to get rid of all of, all of this lava. I wouldn't want that. I'll probably leave a window on the edge of the wall just for this. Just cause. Just make a giant lava vision wall. Just as long as no water covers it. I'll probably I probably will protect this with actual glass blocks. You're able to put yeah, are you able to put torches on glass? If so, then I'll protect this. I'll encase it in glass. And then from there, we could cherish some memory of the lava vision. And then get back up there, make a little bit of a staircase, and put like some sort of display along the sides of it. I don't know. I'm just thinking as I go along. And the more I think about it, the more I actually want to do this. But yeah, I'll leave that there. Actually, no, I'll fix it up just in case if I forget. I could always come back here. Just fix it up. Okay, I'll leave that there. So I'll know where it actually is. All right, there we go. I'll ask oh, Ibex Toy Cat if he wants to make a video about that. Also, it's kind of the same thing with this. If I were to do this, well, I'll show you guys if I were to mine too fast. And lava. Lava will still flow out of there. But just as long as you do one block at a time, then it should be fine. So there you go. There's the proof in there. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Ooh, water. <laughs> Look at that. Water and gravel. And let's see here. Lapis Azuli. But I think that's at the edge, so I kind of not mind that up. But still, that's what it is. And this is where we're going to move on. Because otherwise, we're just going to be stuck in memory lane. And then just pretty much repeat the same thing over and over and over again. That here is the actual wall right there. And you can see that there's a lot of torches. Just move on to the side. This is where the wall should be at. But this is going to be the edge of the world that's going to be covered up. And mainly, we don't even need this. And I remember that a creeper actually blew up here, so that's why it actually has a little bit of a dent right there. Like I said, so many memories, and we're back here. We're out of this one, and then we'll go to this one, because this is exactly the same deal, is that we have this three torch path like I said we actually mined out the entire area at the edge of the world and we have even more lava spots right there we even covered up a bit <laughs> this is kind of funny to look at let's see if I were to do that all right do that and then do that <laughs> exactly look at that look at all that lava <laughs> so much so much this would be a perfect spot to do a video I cannot wait that would be awesome. Now let's see, let's see, let's get out of here, right? So, how do I get out of here? I think I messed up a bit. And it's so weird to walk so slow, especially when you had the beacons behind you. And we still got a lot of lava that we have left behind. So this is going to be exciting to get rid of. So much dirt, so much gravel, so much lava. And I swear to you that this gravel spawned out of nowhere because I remember not having any gravel here but it just came out of nowhere so nothing more i could do about that and there's so many other spots we could just talk about it's just so much memories i cannot believe it's been this long and i cannot wait to revisit a lot of this in the future videos and again cannot mine it whatsoever so that's going to be a deal and it's kind of funny how there's a lot of mushrooms in this spot right here ah uh, well I should actually stop recording and stop making the video because otherwise I'm going to ramble on way too much about the edge of the world. But again, our project so far is to mine all the way down to bedrock on this side. And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. And then the other two sides, possibly get rid of the trees next. And then from there, we're just going to be mining little by little by little in certain spots. And then we'll be done. I could actually think we could actually do some quadrants, a lot of it just connecting to the skylight. You know what? We could actually totally do this. Like, mine all the way down to bedrock from the center of the world, and then we'll have the quadrants, and then mine the quadrants down, and then that's how we could actually finish this off. All right, there we go. At least we did something for this episode. We just planned things out. All right, all right. I'm just gonna have to end off this video here, and yeah, I have no pants. Sally, I have no pants. Okay, so in any case, 
that if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, then please subscribe and comment down below on what you think, like what you thought about this video, what you think about the plants, what you think about a lot of the other stuff that I just talked about, especially when it came to the well resources and the lava on the wall, especially with troll diamonds. Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot to show you guys one of the troll diamonds. This is one of them. This isn't the main one, but it's still one of them. And we just randomly found this one. So this is not the best one, but it's still an example. You cannot mind this. It's at the edge of the world. Oh, I love this so much. I honestly do. It's just so cool to look at. All right. All right. So have a great day. I am Sorokin090. And in, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna throw my numbers away Now I feel I'm done And I'm cursed by every day Till my time is gone I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget your last betray I'll never forget this day